Hello everyone and welcome back to the Declarative Academy, where we declare it to get it. Today, we're diving into something every Salesforce admin needs to know, that is customizing the homepage. This is one of the easiest ways to improve your user's experience and boost their efficiency. Let's get started by creating a brand new homepage using the Lightning App Builder. Before we dive into the steps, these are the key objectives for today's tutorial. By the end of this video, you will be able to create a new homepage using the Lightning App Builder, display recent cases, chatter mentions, and today's tasks and events, add a link to the Salesforce Trust site, activate and assign a homepage to your users with specific profiles. Before we begin, if you would like to follow along with this tutorial, scroll down to the bottom of the page and launch your Salesforce Playground. If you don't have one yet, you could also create a new playground from there. Let's kick things off by heading into the Lightning App Builder. In Setup, type Lightning App in the Quick Find box and select Lightning App Builder. Click New to create a new Lightning App page. Now choose Home Page, then click Next. For the label, insert this, Support Home Page, and then click Next again. For the template, choose Standard Home Page and click Done. You will now see a blank canvas where you can start adding components. Let's start by displaying the five most recent cases. To do this, drag the recent items component to the canvas. We will now change the label to recent cases. Now you will need to specify which object to display. Move the API event store from the selected column to the available column using the left arrow, and then select case from the available column using the right arrow. Set the number of records to display to 5, and then click OK. Next up, let's show the support reps charter post where they've been at mentioned. To do this, drag the charter feed component to the canvas and change the feed type to, to me, to display posts where the user has been mentioned. Next, let's display today's task and upcoming events. Drag the today's task component to the canvas followed by the Today Events component. Now, let's add a little extra functionality. We're going to display a link to the Salesforce Trust site. This site gives real-time information about system status and performance, which is useful for support reps. To do this, drag the Rich Text component into the Today's Tasks box. In the text field that appears, type, be sure to check the Salesforce Trust site. Then, highlight the word Salesforce Trust. Click the link button and enter the URL trust.salesforce.com. All right, now that the home page is built, we need to activate it. Let's save it first, then click activate. To make this home page available to your users, click app and profile, then assign to apps and profile. Now we select the service console for app and then for profiles, select custom support profile and system admin profiles. Click Next and then Save. And just like that, your support users now have a custom homepage. And that's it, guys. You've just created a customized homepage using the Lightning App Builder. Your support team will now have easy access to the most important information they need to do their jobs efficiently. Don't forget, you can always tweak this layout to fit your team's specific needs. And remember, if you don't have a Salesforce Playground set up yet, be sure to create one and launch it so that you can follow along with these customizations in real time. Thanks for watching and as always, declare it to get it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click that bell so you never miss a tip from the Declarative Academy. See you on the next one.